Uh, Matt, why don't you tell us where we are? Uh, we're in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Okay. And uh, what are we looking at here on the floor? Um, this is uh, this is a sub flooring. Um, it was underneath about seven layers of linoleum that we we tore up just doing some light demo after the storm. You can see the water line here, um, which is where it came up to, which is fairly typical for the for the uh, buildings in the neighborhood. And you said that the water was in place for about 24 hours. Uh, in some parts, in some parts, I think it was more of four hours, just sort of rush in. Uh-huh. And uh, what's the challenge to a small business owner in terms of uh, repairing this sort of damage? Uh, I think a lot of these, uh, a lot of, at least in this area and a lot of the affected areas, it's sort of mom and pop landlords. Mm -hmm. um, so though it's considered a small business, it's really um, buildings that have been in the family for generations and um, have been debt free for generations. And I don't know that the ability of the landlords to take on debt is really, is really there or that they have the desire or knowledge to be able to do that, to really fix these buildings up like they need to be. So um, I think the worry is that, uh, that they'll try to be a lot of quick fix solutions um, or that they, they won't be fixed at all and it'll fall into disrepair and the building will end up being condemned. And uh, has there been any indications from the government or SBA about what sort of financing might be available? Uh, the SBA I know gives uh, low interest small business loans, mm -hmm. but again that's taking out debt on the property. Right. There was some mention on the city's website right now of grants with no, um, with no specific terms to those grants. So I know that right now there's nothing available as far as actual grants to, to either help uh, on top of the loan or, or to replace the loan. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.